guys this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are here at Makumaku Lake in Peru once again still trying to finish that one last fish monster mission uh, it's again they they made it so darn tough that it's been literally going on for months now but yeah the Payara and the Biara are very, very evasive fish. And catching them, sometimes you can just catch them, no problem at all. Sometimes you can't. And the trouble is you have to, like I said, get a unique five of them of the Piaras. And that is not easy. Not in the least. So I've been doing a lot of, you know, side missions to, to try to get some of this stuff completed. And we did catfishing the last couple of times. I think what I'm going to do at this point, guys, I am thinking about going ahead and doing some of the, well, less sought-after species, actually. Now, so far we've been going after the main species that you fish for or grind. I mean, like the Arapaima or Pima are great for grinding. They give you a lot of XP, a lot of cash. Uh, if you can get the BRs and the PRs, again, a lot of cash and money and the butterfly peacock bass. But there are quite a few others here that I have not caught much of. Now, I think I did have an episode with the Brikens. But they're a little bit of, you know, difficult to find, too. Uh, and others here that we have not been going after it includes the flag-tailed Prochilidus. We've got the Oscar, which goes all the way up to Unique. I think the Prochilidus also does. We have the Silver Croaker, which goes all the way up to Unique. And then we got the old Spotted Ericu, which is serving as bait in many situations. And you can catch us catch them. The only thing I do have a problem with in this game is it seems like if you can catch them, why can't you just turn around and use them as bait? Just, just saying. Anyway... <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't focus on some of these other species. Just during this episode, I'm going to continue doing the other, trying to catch the Payaras, but I'm going to do that off screen. I think what I'm going to eventually do is just go ahead and catch them, and when I get them, I'm going to come in, and then we're going to go after the big fish. That's just the way we're going to have to handle it. But yeah, we will get these two. I've got one trophy or unique PR left to get and two of the unique PRs. I've literally been fishing and fishing and fishing and have not been able to catch squat. I have a feeling I will get this first then it's going to be these last two. Hmm. Anyway let's go ahead and check this map here guys because we are basically going to be going over in this area. I think in some of the earlier missions I did catch some Arapaima up in this area I also discovered that the Oscars are quite common in this and some of the other species that I've just been talking about. So I thought I'd just come back here and see if we can't get some of those Oscars. I did get a trophy Oscar here. I don't believe I've gotten a unique Oscar yet. And if I did, I wasn't able to uh, get it marked down because, like everything else, they made the changes and it's not showing anymore. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to jump in here. I've got the time set. Going into the peak at 5 p.m. And we're going to use the boat, which is going to be a little tricky because this boat is kind of big for this area. 
but it has fish holders, <laughs> fish rod holders. That is very important. So let's go ahead and go fishing. Alright, I probably need to put my anchor down. Wait a minute. Because if I get an arapaima, it's going to drag me all over this stinking place. But yeah, all these markers are spots where I have caught fish. One of which was one of the um, Christmas or no, Halloween fish, I believe. The elusive arapaima. Yeah, I believe that was it. But anyway, let's see what we can do here about getting this. Now on this, I've got... Got blood worms and a number two hook. That's what I got the Oscars on last time. Now, the second one, I've got Dobson fly larva. Quite a few things go for that. I think the Prodolicus or whatever that one fish was called. I think that was one of them that goes for it. I haven't got any markers for them, so. Basically, I'm just going to have to fish around and hope that I get one, honestly. We have a bite on this already, so that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and place that. Let's see what we have on here. We will be getting a lot of piranha. Piranha are s extremely common here. There we go. We got a spotted ericu. That's That's good. Well, it's actually going to show up on there, but I think that might be the... Well, no, it's not the first one I've caught here. It's the first one I've got that's been notated. So... And there are... Oh! I've completed a mission. Maku Maku Lake Exploration 1. That's 4,000 cash and one bait coin. And some more Dobson fly larva. Nice. Didn't even realize I had that almost completed. But we do have, like I said, we do have a lot of fish floating around out there. I don't know, there's something fairly big out there too. Let's see here. I've got my float rod here as well. Let's see, I thought... No, I thought I had put a smaller hook on this. Let me see here. Well, I will put a smaller hook on there. I'm going to put a 2 aught. Again, we're not going in for anything big here. Now let me... See, I already kind of know what we're going after here for the most part. But I want to see... Now, see, they go for the Kamu Kamu and adopt some flies. That's something I would like to get. I'm starting to think the Kamu Kamu is what I'm going to be fishing with. I think that's going to be at least two species that go for that, plus the piranha, which, again, piranha, you'd think they're predators, but apparently they like some vegetable matter, too. The silver croaker, they do go for the freshwater prawns, but I've got them out there, as well as the dobson flies, so we should be all right on that. Well, it looks like we got us another bite. I think it's this one here. Yeah, this is not a very big fish, whatever it is. Could be another Ericu. Now, there we go. There's our first flag tail. Procolidus. 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 Who knows? Probably butchering that all over the place. And we've got one on here. The soft Dobson fly larva. And it is a red eye piranha. Like I said, we will be getting a lot of those. Let's see, since we're getting the fish finder, I'm just going to throw that right out there where it seems to be saying it's located. Get the blood worms out again. I 
was working on this. Let's see, where's the common common fruit? Common common fruit. Why do these look different? That's kind of strange, isn't it? That one's like a single, and this one's like a. It's like it's split off or something. Ooh, really odd. Hmm. Well, let's put the common common fruit on there. 40 inches, fairly shallow water. I'm going to do it right next to. Oh wow, you're getting yet another bite. I can't tell. Okay, it's the first one. And we seem to be getting a bite off of that. Good, another spot at Ericu. Okay, it's the second one. I thought it was the float rod. Another flag tail. I'm just calling them flag tails. It's easier to say. Again, these do come in unique sizes. So I'm catching this off a number two hook. So we probably could size that up a little bit. Let's take that up to about a two odd. Always start small. You can always move up and get bigger ones. Actually, I think it might be happening off both of them. Okay, this is this is a little bigger than what we've been getting here. Something something that's got a little bit of size to it. What have we got? Flat whiskered. And we got one on the first one as well. Here's hoping for our first Oscar at least. At this point I think I got blessed. Iriku Minnow. There we go. I think that's our first Oscar, guys. Yep, there you go. Right off the Semolina balls. Not a big villa, but he is... He's right there. Alright, looks like we're getting a, another bite somewhere. Can't really tell which one it is. It's so light. Okay, there it is. Yeah, these are not big fish. But I think we got us another Oscar. Yes, we do. Okay, now we're pulling in the Oscars. This is exactly what I was hoping for. But right in this general area right here, that's where we're getting plenty of Oscars. And I think it's just a matter of time before we get a trophy or a unique. Probably closer to the end of our peak period here. Ooh, there's something up to the top there. It's fairly good size. There we go. There we go. We got a trophy spotted Ericu now. Where did I get that? Because that's going to be very important. Let's get the map. What? Rod is cast. What rod is cast? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> so, no idea why I did that. That was weird. Okay, we're going to set that. So I got it right over there in the same location. Alright, that's good. I was just making 
doubly certain. We're going to put this one back where it goes. That was not where I had that originally. We're definitely getting some good bites over here, though. God, I hate having to pull that like that. Yep, it is the first one. We're getting a steady stream of bites off of that area, off of these blood worms. There's another flag tailed Procodilus. Procodilus. Flagtail fish. <laughs> Much easier. I'm sure there's got to be a common name for this fella. If there is a common name for this fellow, tell me so I don't have to keep trying to say that. Ugh. It's like my my mouth won't make the word. And hell, I'm a scientist for God's sake. It's just some some words your mouth just goes no, not gonna do it. <laughs> so then you come off as this goofball. Oh yeah, we are definitely getting some fish up here up the front. Let me see here. Let's... Yeah, I think I might go ahead and get these blood worms. And there are some other things they do go for. They do for, go for crickets. They also go for red worms. We can try those and see if that doesn't improve things. But I think if we just throw those out there, we might get some response here. And we're getting another one of those flag tail fish. Still, they're very, very, very small. That's the only bad thing. They're very small. I've only gotten one trophy of anything, and that was an Ericu. I'm just hoping that as it gets closer to the to nine o'clock, the better the better the sizes will come. Let me try over here. I haven't tried. Is that a dock? Hold on. Hold the phone. Is that a dock? You know, it might be, guys. Hmm. Alright. If it isn't, no big deal. We can come back. It's not, not a big issue. But if it is a dock, this could be could change a lot of stuff here. Gosh, I hope it is, because that would definitely make a difference. Because we could be able to get more rods out. I don't want to really disturb things all that much. really really hard to see that looks too uniform to be just regular logs to me be damned and this is the only way you can get to it you have to be on a boat oh perfect 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 this is awesome this may make all the difference in the world guys I did not see this before I did not see this at all but yeah see this is kind of all by itself and there's no paths so you can only get here by boat Jeez. Well, I tell you what, we are going to be throwing everything we got at these guys. We got freshwater prawns. Let's see, we got. 
We've got freshwater prawns in this as well. Let's put. Yeah, let's size our hook down on here too. So we just seem to be doing a lot better with that smaller hook. I think that pro that one fish, <laughs> flagtail one, yeah, I was going to say, he does go for other things, kamu kamu, corn and peas. We could try red worms too. Got red worms, semolina balls. Okay, this is the one that goes for muscle meat and clam meat. Let's try some muscle meat here too. Let's just try it. Or you got well, clam that works just as good. Like I said, there were some big fish out there, fairly decent sized ones. And we could have some silver croakers out there. Then we'll get the float rod out. Let's see if we can't find us in... Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. We're starting to get some good activity here. And this guy's serious. Clam meat. That's... Yeah, it's ripsaw. Trophy ripsaw, though. <laughs> All right, now we're getting some activity. This was, like I said, this might make all the difference in the world here, guys. I'm gonna have to recast everything here. <laughs> Another flag tail. Yeah, they really seem to be going for those blood worms. A lot more than anything else, and I don't think that was even listed for them, which is really strange. So, the muscle meat. Yeah, let's try that in a little closer here. Maybe we can avoid those dang gun ripsaws. I don't mind getting trophy. I mean, that's good points. I mean, you know, XP and all that good stuff, but... Kamu Kamu fruit. God. These darn red belly piranhas. They are just really. Okay. Lord. Kamu Kamu. Another trophy red belly piranha. Oh, this is nuts. Okay, we're going to have to off three of them. Trophy Oscar. There you go, guys. <sighs> Can't. Couldn't even get a picture with him. Oh, we did lose one. Red-eyed piranha. Damn, I really wanted the picture with him. That is, sucks. Let's see, did I put that? Where did I put that? I think I put that over there. I'm losing track of where I'm putting my <laughs> my bait here. Now this I definitely put right there. And the Kamu Kamu, that was definitely right here. I think the muscle meat I put too far forward. Okay, 
this is probably a catfish. Like a flat whiskered or something. Trophy flat whiskered. Yeah, let's throw that over here because I'm trying not to get the catfish. Not that I have anything against catfish. Believe me, I don't. It's just that that is not really what I was going for this time. Getting that Oscar is exactly what I was going after. I'm trying to get trophy and uniques of these smaller fish. And so far the only one I've been able to f to fulfill has been that Oscar. And I didn't even get a chance to get a picture with him. This really stinks. Okay, this is Kamu Fruit. He's a little bit bigger than the ones I've been getting. They're definitely over there, without a doubt. Alright, I get it. Okay, I think we got us another Oscar. Yep. He's pushing the heck out of being a trophy, though. Yeah, I think as it gets later in the evening, the better our chances of getting that unique is going to get. Kamu Kamu. Don't understand why Piranha would go for that. I just don't. I didn't realize they were omnivorous. I thought they were strictly predatory, carnivorous. Okay, let me try something here, guys. Let's try 25 inches. I want to see if maybe these guys are. Taking it more off the surface here. If I can get something to bite it before I get 47 of them <laughs> going off at the same time. All right. Ha! -ha we are really rocking the Oscars. Nice. They're running about a pound. Okay, we haven't got anything off of this for a minute. I was say, I think we got us another piranha. Well, that seems to be all we're really getting here. We need to get something a little different. That's why I think I'm going to switch over to the red worms. And I am going to keep it in this general area because I really want to get that unique. We finally got one off the float rod here. Let's see what we got. Probably a piranha. No? Flag tail. Yeah. Another Oscar. A little bit small though.
spotted Eriku. Very nice. Got him off of red worms. That's good to know. I'm not caught one over here yet until I use the red worms. So maybe if we can get lucky, we could get a unique one. That would be that would be cool. So we got the flag tail off the float rod. We have, let's see. Yeah, he's definitely gonna. What do we got here? Another trophy. There we go, guys. Yeah, I actually might want to get a picture of that. You know, they're not gonna be big, but that's a trophy. That's the first trophy I've gotten of these guys. <laughs> They're pretty little fish. They really are. He's well over a pound. I don't think that's too bad, to be honest. Pretty little fish. As soon as I put that in the damn water, too. Yep. And I'm getting a bite off the other one. Yeah, they really like those red worms. We are getting a definite bite off of this. A Brycon! A Brycon! Check it out, guys. They are here. That I did not know. Got him off of blood worms. Holy crap, I didn't know that. So just about everything we're after is here, guys. Another spotted Eriku. Everything that we are after. All the small fish that we have been trying to get. <laughs> Generally in this area, it seems like. I want to throw those cam and camo over there. Let's see, what is this one? Uh, okay, we haven't gotten any bites off of this for a while, which kind of leads me to believe, yep, that we lost the bait. Because there was one where I got, but it lost the f it either timed out or something. Sometimes when they time out, you lose the bait. So... I think we got another Heraku. Yep. Getting a lot of these. This could be a catfish. Yep, yeah, it is. I think we're just going to have to switch. Try to stay out of the catfish bait. <laughs> There's another one. Still, we got... They're just the little ones. That's the thing. We're still just getting the little fellas. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking trophy flag tailed Proculitus. That is our first one of the trophies. Again, not a real huge fish, but we got him. Wish we could 
zoom in just a little bit more. But we'll keep him. And we got him off of good old fashioned red worms. Good old fashioned red worms. Another flat whisker catfish. They just seem to be really going for those dots and flies. And there's another Oscar. He's a little over a pound. That's a fairly decent one. Off the dops and fly. Off the dops and fly. Can you believe that? That's not even on their list. So there's so many things that go for dops and flies. Yeah, these lists are not all inclusive. Just because they're on the list doesn't mean they don't go for other things. Which makes it really, really tricky. If you're going to go for it, you need to do it. Because. Alright. Spotted air kid. Flag tail. This is off the weird Dobson fly larva. Just piranha. I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to bump this up just a little bit if I can. I may not be able to. Yeah, I can. I can. I'm just going to bump it up to a one. It may not change anything. At this point, I am getting kind of concerned because we're running out of daylight here. Okay, we are still getting some pretty good Oscars. Damn, that's two Oscars in a row. All right, whatever it is, it's definitely taken off with it. Is a red-eyed piranha. Are you kidding me already? Well, when it expires, they don't give you like maybe five minutes to fix it. So I am going to have to go off screen for just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. All right, problem has been fixed. Came back and already had a bite. So let's see. Yeah, I would have already had some kind of a ding against me there, too. Get this stack on unique. Well, 
Well guys, we have actually done very, very well as far as numbers go. I don't know that we're going to get our uniques this time. We're getting very close to the end of the night. We are getting Oscars. We're getting plenty of them. He looks bigger than the average one, but he's not. He's just a little work. Well, actually he is. He's a little bit bigger than the average. Okay, we have definitely got one off the float rod there. He is just making a break for it there. Another spot of Heraku, which that is good. But yeah, we're we're getting the species I've been talking about. We're just not getting the big ones. So if I have to end this episode here, and I might here just shortly, I'm gonna ask you guys to do me a favor. If you know where I can find uniques of the Flagtails, the Ericus, the Oscars let me know. I really want to get a unique of representation of each one of them if I possibly can. And I will definitely show where you tell me. I will give you credit and give you a shout out for all to hear. This is a big lake. Big, big lake. Finding these guys is not easy. Catching them is the tough enough, but finding them, <laughs> that's even tougher, I think. There's a trophy. I've gotten three trophies so far. Still none of them unique. Plenty of Oscars. In fact, I've gotten so many Oscars, I'm about ready to count. Just see, just blows my mind that I haven't gotten any uniques after all this. Now that's where somebody gave me the elusive Arapaimas. marker. I didn't obviously catch that yet, so that was something somebody gave to me. So if we ever get that darn thing finished, definitely going there to try it out. Another flag tail. Another flag tail. It's probably a Ericu or Piranha. Yep. Gonna have to call this quits, my friends. Yeah, let's try throwing that over there too. I've tried 
couple of different spots just to see. We're down to the last minute here. Don't think we're going to pull it off. Not this time. But I am going to check to see how many Oscars we've gotten because I have gotten an inordinate amount of Oscars. And that's all she wrote, guys. It is now night. I guarantee you we're not in the peak anymore. Peak will probably be either in the middle of the night or... At... No? We're in a peak. Well, again, this has been pretty dang on long. So, let's just take a look and see what we have in our inventory, though. Fish Keeper. So we did get quite a few spotted Irakus. A whole bunch of them. Let's see, for Oscars, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 Oscars so far, and we only got one trophy Oscar, and that's this guy here. That would be our only fella. So, he's got to be almost, probably 1.3 or better is probably what they got to be to get trophy size. I would imagine a unique is close to 2 pounds. We did get... I think we got three trophy spotted Ericus and one trophy flag deal. So we got all oh, we got plenty of trophies. Got plenty of trophies. Just no uniques. Dang gun it. <laughs> oh well guys, that was a lot of fun. We did get a lot of fish. How many fish did we get? Sixty-nine fish. Wow. It's a lot of fish <laughs> to sit there in one session to catch. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.